Hello, and welcome to part 15 of the video series Cisco UCCE 12.x Build Your Own Lab In this video, I'm going to be configuring Cisco Call Manager Okay, I've got my administration PC open now and the first thing I'm going to do is open up a browser And I'm going to go to Call Manager, which is labcucm01.myhomelabs.us. This is going to show up the first time, so we can click Advanced, then Continue. And we're going to click on the top option. Now, the first thing in this is we need to enable the services so uh, under navigation we're going to go in here to Cisco Unified Serviceability and click on go now in username we're going to put in admin and password We're now going to click on Tools, Service Activation. And as you see, there's actually very little enabled. So we're going to go in and start enabling the services. So we're going to enable Cisco Call Manager. Cisco CTI Manager, Extension Mobility, Extended Functions, and the next few services. Scroll down. And once we're done, we can then click on save. And click OK. Now this is going to take a few minutes for it to activate those services. Okay, now it's finished activating the services. You can now see that all the ones that we've checked are now showing as activated. So the next thing we're going to do is up at navigation, we're going to change that to Cisco Unified CM Administration and click go. Now you can actually go ahead and ignore these, these warnings, especially since this is going to be a lab environment. So we're first going to click on system and then phone NTP references. We're going to click add new.
So now you can see that the two uh, NTP servers are listed there. Now we're going to go to the system date time group. We're going to click add new. Group name. Just going to put lab time group time zone I'm going to put as America Chicago I'm going to click in here and then add NTP references select the two servers and click add selected now we're going to click save now we can go back to the fine list click find and there's our new time group America Chicago Next we're going to go to System, Physical Location, I'm going to click Add New, Name, My Lab, copy that to description, click Save, again click Go up here, click Find, there's the description. Now we'll do system location info. Location. I'm going to add new. We're going to put in here lab. save and you'll see that lab is listed in the locations down here now we're going to do system region information region add new I'm going to put home lab, click save okay next we're going to click call routing class of control partition add new and we're going to add several in here. We can put them in this box. Lab DNs. PSTN International. PSTN Local. Long Distance. free click save and click find so now you'll see these new partitions set up now partitions are used for um, basically blocking um, IP or phone numbers within certain groups so you can have like internal numbers, external numbers, long distance and so on and you can limit uh, what agents etc are allowed to call based on the partitions they're allowed to call.
Next we're going to do call routing, class of control, calling search space. I'm going to add new. And then in here we'll put lab dash CSS lab calling search space. Now like I was just saying these are the uh, classes of numbers that the agents etc will be allowed to call. So I'm going to put all four of five of these in. I'll move them down to the selected partitions and click save. Then we're going to go over here and go system device pool. Add new. the lab device pool communication group default and then we're going to use our lab CSS for the column search spaces time group is going to be lab time group the region is going to be home lab. Location is going to be lab. Physical location is going to be my lab. Scroll down to the bottom. We'll do lab CSS, lab CSS, lab CSS, and click save. Now we're going to do system LDAP. LDAP system. We're going to click on enable synchronizing from LDAP server. Click save. Do the system LDAP. LDAP directory. We're going to be pointing this to the domain controllers because that's where it's going to get the agent and user information from. Click add new. Then we're going to do lab cn equals cm service space user comma cn equals users comma dc equals my home labs comma dc equals us then we put password in Now if you, if you remember, that's one of the service users that we added. Now we're going to do OU equals OU equals lab agents, comma, DC equals my home labs comma DC equals US. We're going to do users and groups. 
and we're going to perform a resync every six hours. That's so that if there's any changes made in Active Directory, then they will be synced with Call Manager. Now down here, we need to add in the IP addresses of the domain controllers. So we're going to do 10, 100, 10.11. Then we're going to add another one, 10, 100, 10.12, and then we'll click save. Then we'll click on perform full sync now, click OK. Now we're going to click on System, LDAP, LDAP Authentication. We're going to click on Use LDAP Authentication for End Users. We're going to put in the CM Service User username and put the password in. going to put in my home labs dc equals us again we'll put 10 100 10.11 and 10 100 10.12 save Now we need to go to user management, application user. We need to add a few application users for a couple of the other servers. That's so that they can get information from call manager. I'm going to click add new. I'm going to put CMPG user. And put the password in. options we're going to click add to access control group we'll put contains and CTI click find We're going to click uh, Standard CTI Enabled. Add Selected. Click on Save. While we're in here, I'm just going to go ahead and add one of the uh, phones that I have and uh, assign that to an agent so what we'll do is we'll go into device phone I'm going to add new the phone type that is going to be a Cisco 7961 click next. The device protocol is going to be SCCP. 
click next. Now in, in here I need to put the MAC address of the phone. Uh, the MAC address for this particular model is on the back of the phone on a sticker. So here it's going to be 0021A02D9234. Okay, here we can put the description in. Uh, Cisco 7961, Agent 3001, Device Pool, that's going to be Lab Device Pool. Then we're going to do Phone Button Template. Standard 7961 SCCP Calling Search Base Lab CSS Set the two audio sources Change the location to lab. Use the locale, English United States. United States. Going to do user. Pick agent 3001. Now if you notice these are already populated. And uh, that's because it pulled the information from LDAP. security profile that's going to be Cisco 7961 web CSS can pretty much stay the same. So click save, click OK. Now that's created uh, basic configuration. Now what we need to do is actually add a line to the phone. So up here we're going to click Add New DN. Directory number is going to be 3001. The partition for this one is going to be Lab DNs. So that's where it's going to live. Description, Agent 3001. We can copy that to the the next two boxes. There's no voicemail just now. Set calling search space to lab CSS. Then set, set these two audio sources. We won't set auto answer. Here 
you will put Agent 3001. And the same for that. And we'll put 3001 as the label. And we can set those three and then click save. So now if we click up here, click go. see the phone information, we can see that line 1 is going to be 3001. So what we can do is click on apply config, click OK. And we can go back to the find list, click find. So now we have one agent phone created. Agent 1 with extension 3001. Now you can repeat that for the three other phone devices, or at least two of the other phone devices. We're going to use one for the asterisk connection. There's one more thing we need to do um, before calling this complete for now. We need to go to user management, application user, click find. So here we have CMPG user, which is the user we added. We'll click on that. We then need to click on the device that I just added, which is the phone. Click that down to control devices. And then we can uh, click on save. So this CMPG user can now manage this device. So that's the configuration complete for now and we will come back at a later date and add some other configurations. Thank you for watching and please subscribe and like the video and see you next time.